So I think that after this example, you will see better the power of how matrices really help save time. And I'm going to show you this example in real time. You might want to replay the example a couple times just to kind of make sure you understand the process. But this is what it would look like in real time. Rewriting the matrix, sorry, rewriting the system of linear equations as a matrix, uh, an augmented matrix. I'm noticing here that my key row is my second row here. So I'm going to rewrite that as my first row. 1, 4, and negative 5 there, and then we have negative 11. I'm not even going to write the... I'm not going to write the brackets, and I'm not going to write the vertical line, because that's extra time. But now, what I want to notice here is that if I multiply this row here by 3, so I'm going to take this row and I'm multiply it by 3, I'm going to add it to the first row, and that's going to become my new second row. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. 12 plus 3 is 15, negative 15 and negative 1 is negative 16, negative 33 and negative 5 is negative 38. Then, after I'm done doing that, I'm now going to notice that if I multiply this row by 2 and add it to this third row, that's going to become my new third row. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 8 plus 1 is 9. Negative 10 and 1 is negative 9. Negative 20 and 4 is negative... What is that? Is that that's a negative 11, sorry. Uh, negative 22 and 4 is negative 18. Now I'm going to notice that each of these entries here can be divided by 9. So I'm going to divide by 9 and this guy. So I'm going to rewrite the first row, rewrite the second row. Being really careful, you got to be really careful here. And then the third row, 0 divided by 9 is 0, 9 divided by 9 is 1. We get ni negative 9 divided by 9 is negative 1, and then negative 18 divided by 9 is negative 2. So now I'm looking pretty good here for my second, uh, my third row is looking great. But what I want to do then is I want to multiply, um, I'm actually going to rewrite the first row. I'm going to rewrite my, my third row as my second row. So we're gonna, we can re interchange any two rows, that's okay. And then uh, my, so here we are, breaking point there. Uh, and then our third row now is going to become, I'm going to multiply this row here by negative 15 and add it to this row. So watch what happens. Negative 15 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 15 and positive 15, that's 0. Positive 15 and negative 16 is negative 1. And then 30 minus 38 is negative 8. So what I what I'm trying to do is, is uh, eliminate as much work as possible. And so we ended up getting, you want to get 0, 0, 0 here. So we get z, we solve for z. So we get negative z equals negative 8. And we get z equals 8. So now we're going to put z equals 8 into this second equation. We get y minus z equals negative 2. y minus 8 equals negative 2. And therefore, Adding 8 to both sides, we get y equals 6. So we've got our z, we've got our y, and then we replace both y and z in the first equation, and we get x plus 4y minus 5z equals negative 11. x plus 4 times 6 is 24, minus 5 times 8 is 40 equals negative 11. And I ran out of room on my paper, but we're almost done x minus 16 equals negative 11. So we have x minus 16 equals negative 11. And if we add 16 to both sides, we get x equals 5. And so we get the solution to our system of linear equations solved by using matrices as 5, 6, and 8.